Before we get started today, I want you to think about something you have that's coming up in the future. It could be the near future, it could be after the pandemic is over, but something you're really, really looking forward to and work towards that goal. So that when you do take that trip, you can relax and have that steak dinner you've been looking forward to, or that scuba diving adventure, or that hike, or whatever it is that brings you joy. I want you to think about that right now, just for a moment. And then I'm gonna get into what you need to know about Amazon, what you need to know right now. And it is good news for you, okay? This is good news. When we win, you win. You just need to know how to do it. So we call these our notable retractions. These are companies, these are entities that over the last couple of days have agreed to retract their Amazon complaints, their intellectual property right complaints against you. And I want you to know the brands that they are. CBS, PBS, the public broadcasting station, and Green Pet Shop Pet Cooling Pads. And they have a patent. So why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this to make sure that you always have hope, that you know that the opportunities on Amazon are absolutely huge. The obstacles you face are like obstacles in any other business. They are not all encompassing and Amazon provides you with great opportunities. So even when the biggest companies in the world like Lego make IP complaints against you, you are not dead in the water. You have hope you can accomplish your goals. Also, I want to let you know that Amazon is fine tuning the retraction system years ago. A complainant only needed to send an email to Amazon from the same email address from which the complaint was asserted saying, we hereby retract the complaint. We want to take the complaint back and it was done. Later, Amazon changed that so that the retraction had to say the complaint was made an error, but it still caused problems because sometimes the verbiage was accepted and sometimes it wasn't. Now, Amazon has a form that complainants must use in order to retract their complaints. This hasn't been launched across the board yet, but we expect that it will. When you receive an IP complaint, the first thing you want to do, the first thing we do is number one, review it. Was there an actual violation? Number two, seek a retraction. Now add to it, make sure the retraction is done in Amazon's form. Make sure it's done so Amazon recognizes it and takes it off your account. And then you go back to a clean, safe Amazon based business. Also, share this video, like the video, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.